disappointments, rejections, injustices, physical pains and illnesses, all these hardships are inherent to the human condition. No matter who you are, how much money you make or what material possessions you have inevitably, you will face devastating experiences and encounter difficult emotions throughout life. You will inevitably lose your loved ones and also confront the reality of death. How to maintain mental resilience in the face of all this? Although these universal truths often inspire fear and are frequently ignored, denial does not make them disappear. Instead, it leaves us helpless and completely vulnerable when confronted with adversity. Stoicism offers an alternative approach, suggesting proactive and anticipatory preparation for these challenging moments. By deliberately training your mind, you cultivate the inner strength needed to withstand even the harshest difficulties life can present. The collection of scenic writings, letters from a historical figure, is particularly known for providing valuable insights and practical advice on how to cultivate mental strength and resilience. Lucius Aeneas Seneca was a prominent Roman philosopher, statesman, and playwright who lived from 4 BC to 1965 AD. He is widely regarded as one of the key figures in Stoic philosophy, which teaches individuals to develop mental resilience allowing them to face life's challenges with calm and composure. In this video, we present six ways to be mentally resilient based on Seneca's philosophy. These insights can help you develop a mindset and the necessary tools to face life's difficulties with courage and strength. Now before we continue with this incredible knowledge, don't forget to leave a like. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and activate notifications so you don't miss any knowledge because it can change your life. Focus on one task at a time. Seneca says, to be everywhere is to be nowhere. Seneca's philosophy emphasizes the importance of living in the present moment and the value of total attention. Being everywhere refers to the state of continually diverting the mind which prevents us from fully engaging and experiencing our current circumstances. This fragmented focus leads to a sense of detachment and inhibits genuine in connection with the world around us. Society tends to equate involvement in multiple projects with achievement and gratification, but we should not ignore the price this exacts on our mental exhaustion and potentially total burnout. Seneca instead suggests focusing on one task at a time to increase productivity and reduce interruptions. For example, when we are reading, Seneca would advise us to dedicate our full attention to the text in front of us. By immersing ourselves in the words on the page and eliminating distractions, we can extract deeper meaning, gain a better understanding, and enjoy the greatest pleasure, which is the act of reading itself. This focused approach allows us to fully engage with the material, expand our knowledge and enhance our intellectual abilities. Similarly in our daily lives, Seneca would encourage us to concentrate on the task at hand, whether it's work study or a conversation. By engaging with the material, we can broaden our knowledge and improve our intellectual capabilities. By devoting our full attention to each task, we can achieve greater quality, productivity, and fulfillment. This intentional focus helps us avoid the pitfalls of multitasking and scattered attention, enabling significant progress and excellence in our activities. Seneca placed great importance on time management. He believed that time is a precious resource and that how we use it determines the quality of our existence. Therefore, Focusing on one task at a time has the potential to manage your time effectively. Seneca recognized that attempting to juggle multiple tasks simultaneously leads to inefficiency and lack of productivity. Imagine you have an hour to organize and tidy your house before heading out for an appointment. Soon after starting your tasks, you stop to respond to some messages on your phone. Remember an important work email that needs urgent attention and two calls you need to make. You also need to feed your dog. 
The timer on your phone goes off and your hour is up. You have four tasks started and none completed and you need to leave to avoid being late for your appointment. When we allow ourselves to be pulled in multiple directions, our ability to be fully present is compromised. That's why Seneca encourages us to organize our minds and dedicate our attention to the task at hand. By doing so, you improve your mental health because you conserve energy, which in turn increases your productivity. As a result, you make better use of your time while strengthening your mind against distractions. By practicing this principle, we develop greater focus and a deeper connection with the present moment. Control your impulses. In Seneca's words, philosophy teaches us to act not to speak. There is in each man a standard by which he judges his own life which is not dependent on the lives of others and does not consist of comparisons or statistics or reports. Seneca discouraged excessive indulgence in food, drink, or any sensory pleasure. He believed that self-control was essential for a balanced life and a resilient mind. Today, we live in a society where instant gratification and excessive indulgence are highly prevalent. Many of us face the temptation to succumb to momentary impulses, such as eating fast food instead of cooking a healthy meal, spending too much time on social media instead of working toward our goals or making impulsive purchases instead of saving for the future. However, these temporary indulgences often result in harmful long-term consequences, such as health problems, debt, and a lack of personal fulfillment. Seneca encourages us to resist these impulses, to question the validity of our momentary desires, and to maintain strict control over our behaviors. This doesn't mean you should live a life of deprivation, but rather that you should cultivate the ability to say no when necessary and seek a balance between immediate pleasure and long-term well-being. By practicing self-control, you strengthen your mental strength and resilience, making it easier to resist temptations that can harm your physical and emotional health. Accept what cannot be changed. Stoic philosophy values acceptance of what is beyond our control. Seneca reminds us that many things in life are outside our power to change, including past events, the actions of others, and even our own mortality. When we spend our energy and anguish trying to control the uncontrollable, we inevitably become frustrated and vulnerable to suffering. Accepting the reality of life is a fundamental part of Stoicism. This does not mean we should be passive or resigned in the face of adversity, but rather that we should recognize what is beyond our control and focus our efforts on what we can influence. When confronted with insurmountable challenges, Seneca advises us to adopt an attitude of serenity and resignation. By doing so, we avoid wasting energy on futile concerns and instead channel our mental strength into facing difficulties with dignity and courage. Practice self-discipline. Seneca believed that self-discipline was the key to a virtuous life and a resilient mind. He saw self-discipline as the ability to govern oneself, resist temptations, and act in accordance with our values and principles even when it is difficult. Through the practice of self-discipline, we can cultivate a strong mind that does not easily waver in the face of adversity. Self-discipline involves creating healthy habits, setting clear goals, and being determined to achieve them regardless of the obstacles that may arise. It helps us avoid impulsive behaviors and stay focused on our long-term goals. Seneca believed that self-discipline was the foundation of all virtues and that those who practiced it were on the right path to a meaningful and purposeful life. Practice. Emotional detachment. Stoicism also teaches the importance of emotional detachment. Seneca argued that by becoming excessively attached to people, material possessions, and desired outcomes, we become vulnerable to suffering when these things inevitably change or are taken away. Instead, he encouraged us to value these things but not depend on them for our happiness and sense of self-worth. 
Emotional detachment does not mean becoming insensitive or indifferent, but rather learning to appreciate what we have while remaining aware of its ephemeral nature. This helps us maintain a balanced perspective and deal with the losses and changes in life in a more serene and resilient manner. Remember that Stoicism is a philosophy that requires constant practice. It is not something you can master overnight, but rather a process of ongoing development. By incorporating these principles into your daily life and practicing mental resilience, you will be better prepared to face the challenges life presents and live with wisdom and courage. Seneca's philosophy offers valuable insights into how to cultivate mental and emotional resilience, and these principles can be applied practically in your everyday life. Remember that mental resilience does not mean you will never face difficulties, but rather that you will develop the ability to face them with calmness, courage, and inner strength. As you incorporate these teachings into your life, you may experience a profound transformation in your mindset and overall well-being. I hope this summary has been helpful to you and that you find inspiration in Seneca's philosophy to strengthen your mind and face life's challenges with resilience and wisdom. If you've made it to the end of this video, comment something that this video made you reflect on in your life. Feel free to share in the comments. I'm here to help.